So what do you mean by fixed? So we have to put in supports. Yeah, support. yeah, yeah. And so we'll seat cushion. And yeah. And what's that about? From this perspective, it's about the Aston paradigm is an evolution towards understanding gravity, ground reaction force, how we can be more naturally aligned with those um, forces, and what we need to adjust, what we need to use to adjust the traditional paradigm. Okay? So we've got the car supports, and we've got the awareness around sitting. You all are on a stool. Is it supporting you with your current limitation? Okay. And now, nice, crossing the sticks. We've added the sticks just to give you a little more support so that you're using. And why don't you try the cross pit way and just see what that feels like? Okay, nice. Good. Okay. So we're learning how to change the way we sit, okay? Attention to being more active, possibly active sitting and slouching well. <laughs> Oxymoron, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's possible, okay? And then as you're sitting there, and as you're reviewing this, right, what's happening to your body? So it's yeah, back into its it's going back into its pattern. The patterns we repeat outside of our awareness, but you were aware of that, okay? Okay, so one of the first Aston movement designs to help with that is seated arcing. Okay, just go ahead and turn your stools facing the paper. There's seated arcing. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, arcing is made up of three components. I'm just reviewing, videoing this for my own learning. Get you out of there. We go. So, seated arcing. Hips a little bit higher than our knees. So with these adjustable stools, we can kind of pull that off. All of the stool that's, that's, that needs some repair. We'll put more over here. <laughs> remember these stools work. You guys probably remember. But, but even as I'm adjusting the stool, I'm needing different awareness to how I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up there. Rocking, lunging, transferring my weight. So as we're evolving through the awareness that the Aston paradigm gives us, we can learn to move in new ways. We put ourselves in the cycle of transformation of awareness, conscious confidence. We come every week to enhance our conscious confidence. I give you things to, well, try this, try to remember this, right? Then we look at our habits or we look at our patterns. And then we have new ways of moving. So just releasing the gravity, push up your sit bones, get the wrinkles out, push in the sticks, and find where you feel supported. Find where that turns on your core. Yeah, and then release the gravity. Let your hands relax too. You might go into flexion. Transfer your weight forward, push off your feet, push off your seat, push off the sticks. Feel how there you go, how that gives you a little bit of fresh perspective. Okay? And then notice the relationship in your arms. Are they really close to you or are they slightly out a little bit? Yeah. Does that feel a little? It feels different. It feels different? Yeah. Okay. I need sticks too, these. Okay. These. But the carpet is slippery. Okay, cross your sticks at the bottom. Just softly release into gravity. Softly come forward, push off your feet, push off your seat, push off the sticks. Fine tune it a little bit more, good. Now stay tall, feel your body's awareness. Try not to look down, look over the cross the top of my head. Push ground force in your feet to feel yourself pick the sticks up. Hold the sticks up. From the ground force in your feet, turn, push off your feet. Good. 
without looking, feather down, bring the sticks back to where they were, and cross. So looking is another habit that kind of throws off the math of the magic. And so what we tend, what tends to happen is as we age, we, one of the things we do, remember what we've talked about, as we age when we stand, we get wider. Looking for stability. Looking for stability, right? And then I like to say that, that that's kind of really overstabilized. So now, refresh your stability. Slightly ground flexion. Extension. Softness into your hands and your wrists and your shoulders. Like you're holding a bird in your hand. Where are your arms? Are they really close? Are they really far away? Where's the just right that feathers into the rest of your body? So another thing we do is look down. Because we've lost that proprioceptive capacity. So as we're in class today, see if you can do it without looking down. Push off, ground reaction force, feel your body rise. Lean forward, pick up the left stick. Feel the flow of picking up the left stick. Nice. And then lean forward, push off your feet, push off the right stick. Feel the support. Bring the left stick down. Reset chemisures, get the wrinkles out. Push off your feet, feel your body rise and connect. Lean forward through the right foot, push off the right foot. Lift the left, right stick up on a, a diagonal. And then push off that two feet in the stick to refresh your support, your tone right there, and bring it down. And rest in the gravity. Reset chemisures, get the wrinkles out. And if you're not sitting on the edge of your school stool, go ahead and scoot out to the edge. And when even that little tiny scoot that I did, and I kind of checked in with my feet, where are our feet when we're practicing seated arcing, front of our ankles or underneath our knees, okay? Sticks slightly crossed. Feel the support, learning how to feel the support. Now we're gonna transfer our weight forward, feel the support, raise the right stick, Turn and look behind you with it. Good. And now how are you going to get back? Push in your feet, push in your seat, push in your, your left stick that's there for support and come back. Ooh, I like how that felt. Did you guys like how that felt? I got that waft of joy and pleasure. Shimmy <laughs> zhuzh. <laughs> Transfer your weight forward. Pick, push in that left foot to pick the left stick up. Stay forward and then turn and look behind you. Feel what happens to your hips when you do that. Now push in the right stick and the two feet. Make a connection to the foot there. And then turn and bring the stick back. Relax. Oh, got a little bit of an ouch on that one. Yeah, not, not a big one. Just so reminding me it's there. Okay, and I'm wondering if for your unique asymmetry, if you push, 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 and continue the push, and continue the push, and continue the push, and continue the push, and come back a little bit more asymmetrical. Let's all try that. Linda, why don't you move over that way just a little bit so we're not gonna whack each other. Whack each other. Okay. So reset chemin juge. Push off your feet, push off the stick, feel a little more tone come into play. Lean forward, push off your left foot to bring the left stick up. And let's do it in increments. Swirling, swirling, swirling. Pushing off your two feet and your sticks. Yeah, so even though you're over to the left, what kind of connection do you have with your left foot? What kind of connection do you have with your right foot? What kind of connection do you have with the stick? And now let's bring it back through the bases of support, through the bases of support, through the bases of support, stay long through your chest if you can. That may work. Yeah, yeah. Good. That are friends, gravity and ground reaction force and momentum. When we kind of separated it out like that, we had a little bit different momentum as well. All right, let's try that. 
little more recycling more frequently. Um, okay, so relax into gravity. Push up your feet, push up your seat, get the wrinkles out, push in the sticks, get the wrinkles out. Lean forward, push in that right foot to bring the stick up. And then push in your three points of contact to rotate you back. Look behind you, feel your body align. Now push in all three points of contact to asymmetrically. Shimmy zhuzh, shimmy zhuzh, shimmy zhuzh. Nice, nice, beautiful. Now what could you do if you might have needed more support? It didn't look like you guys did, but, and, you could have put this stick on the ground and kind of played it like a little ladder. Let's do that just to feel what that feels like. So what we're really, we're creating this distinction here that I haven't really talked about. We're pushing ground reaction force, leaning forward, pushing ground reaction force to pick the stick up, put it on the outside of your knee, and then put it on the outside of your, your right knee. Yeah, okay? And then push off your three points of contact to pick it up to go to the next stage. Push to go to the next stage, push to go to the next stage, push to go to the next stage. And can you feel, bring your forehead up, tuck, and then tuck your forehead into your eyes. There, there. Feel that awareness. Now push off all your three points of contact and then ladder yourself back through all the points of contact, feeling ground reaction force coming through you come back to center and rest. Comments, curiosities, awareness. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, so the support <laughs> with the alignment. Now you're in your car. Please don't hurt yourself. Put your sticks in your right hand. You want something out of the back seat. Look back and down. Oh, you guys, you're the passenger. Correct, you're the passenger. You want something out of the back seat. Feel that, okay? Come back to center. Now, shimmy zhuzh, lean forward, feel all your points of contact. Go forward, turn, reach, and then transfer over to pick up whatever it is. Forehead comes into your eyes. Good, now how are you gonna get back? Push in your feet, push in your seat, push in your sticks. Okay, so it seems like the tone really gives us that support. So what we tend to do is, in many aspects of how we move our life, we go back and down. Yeah. And really what we want to start to build in, in our conscious confidence and changing our habits is forward and up, or slightly up and forward. We've talked about up and over. It depends on what's happening. But the quality of our up is going to be determined by the quality of our down. So if we slightly remember the three components, we're using gravity, ground reaction force, momentum, how are they linked? Release into gravity slightly, push off all your points of contact to go up. Feel the tone and support in your body, okay? Stay supported, release slightly again, push in both feet, push in both sticks, feel even more length and support. Good, come back down. Now don't go down and just push up. What do you notice the more difference? More effort. It's more effort. Great. So just slightly go down. Release into gravity. Asymmetrically push up your feet, your seat, your two sticks. Swirl up to the sky. Feel your forehead come into your eyes just a little bit. That's another doorway for moving out of this tendency. Flexion in the chest, extension in the neck. So, without hurting yourself, go into that pattern. And then you say, yeah. And then you say, hmm, this feels familiar. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and then, I'll tell you that. That's right. <laughs> and then you say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about how I'm aligned. Let me, even maybe go into it slightly a little bit more. Push off your feet, push off your seat, push in the sticks. 
Shimmy Swoosh. Forehead comes into your eyes, into the bridge of your nose, somewhere in there. And that's kind of retraining our head from this tendency of we're here, inflection in our chest and extension of our head. And it starts from the ground versus an isolated change at the head. That's a real distinctive place with the Asin paradigm is it's a whole body change that starts, I like to talk about from the middle of the earth to the stars. Okay, so just check in with how you feel. And then put the sticks, just cross them barely. And slide your hands down. And then just shimmy zhuzh off of that. Somewhere in there. Yeah, breathing. Breathing down into your pelvis. Feel your pelvis expand into the stool. Good. And then push in your left, <coughs> push in your left foot to transfer to your right hip. <coughs> and then push in your right foot to transfer up and over to your left hip. Good. Push in your right foot. Feel yourself go up, 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 up. Stop right there. Come back to half, Linda, stay right where you are. And then um, Cheryl, come back to your right hip just a little more. You're there. Your hip is there. Okay? Go down into the hip. Flexion. Come forward. Push off the foot, the seat, the chest. The, everybody rise up. Focus is on the right side right now. Release into gravity. Push off the foot. Push off the pelvis. The seat. Good. Shoulder. Eye. And then Linda, just turn and face me so you don't have to be faced that way. And there you go. Okay, so uh, let it go. Take a breath, take a break. Cross at the bottom, your hands go down. And then off of all your points of contact. So we got two feet, we got two sticks, we got two seats, sit bones. Give yourself a little. I've been liking calling it, get the wrinkles out. It brings in a tone, brings in a sense of support and stability. Now gently push your right foot into the floor and away from you to transfer your weight to your left hip. And then push off your left foot and your left hip to see if you can get a little more and the stick. And the stick which brings your shoulders and your hands somewhere in there in. There you go. And then, Linda, go back to the right just a little bit. Your hip is right there. Let's go down into flexion on the left. Transfer your weight, go forward, push off the foot, push off the hip joint. See if you can feel it rise you up a little bit. Good. Come back to center and relax. Okay. So now we're gonna take the band and we're going to bring it into some traditional type exercises. Oops, oops. Crashing. Crashing. But it's not a body, so it's okay. It's not a body, so it's okay. And as long as it didn't run into anything. Okay. So. And I don't want to... I don't want a bad amount of traditional exercise because put your hands here and spread the band and feel what it feels like. There is activation there, okay? Mm -hmm. There is awareness there. And if we step in, so the, the traditional paradigm would have us sitting and they would have us spread the band. So feel what that feels like. Okay, now, or they might have us laying down, depending. Now find your feet little cigarette move. Feel that enliven your whole body, your torso, and then push ground reaction force, feel your body engage, then spread the band. Okay, come back to center. Now get your hands a little closer so you have a little resistance. Okay, push off your feet, feel your body rise, push off your feet again, spread the band. How would you describe the difference? Go back to Spread the band. Go back to push up your feet, push up your seat, spread the band. How would you describe the difference? And relax. Better tone. Better tone. 
Yeah, easier. Easier. Okay. And why do you think that is? Staging. Staging. <laughs> We're in the stage that really consciously bringing our attention to gravity and ground reaction force makes us stronger, makes us safer, makes us feel more confident, right? But there's more we can add to this, right? We just, we just push ground reaction force. That would be the first stage, push and connect, okay? And then I'm curious about, so there's there. Now can we get a little more push off, lean forward, and then spread the band. So when we, yeah, there, 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 there. Yeah, look down. Okay, look down right there. Because now we've leaned forward, we would look down right there. Push up, stay looking down, don't look at me. Now swirl around out there on your feet. Half as much, half as much, half as much, half as much. Feather back and rest. Then our body goes, oh, something different's going on there, right? So we added another component. We got, we had the side to side, we had the side, then we added the forward. Now, if we go down and push off as we're going forward and spread the band, and then bring your forehead into your eyes right there. Try not to look. Breathe, feel your pelvis. Now transfer your weight from one foot and hip to the other foot and hip. Stay connected to the band. Stay connected to the band. Stay connected to the band. <laughs> Sneeze and rest when you need to and relax. <laughs> <laughs> now when you go to blow your nose, push up your feet, feel the support of your body. Yes, because the tendency, the habit is we go back and down. Yeah. Forward and up. Forward and up. Ooh, get excited. <laughs> okay, what do you think that you might make the next stage of this progression? <laughs> Thank you, Linda. <laughs> that we're doing. Don't know. Okay, sure. Any idea? Yeah. Raise the arms. Ooh. Raise the arms could be one option. I want to try to. Well, no. Let's let's do that. Okay, so shimmy zhuzh, bring your awareness to that your ankles are underneath your knees, okay? Push off your feet, push off your seat. As you lean forward, stretch the band, and it doesn't have to be big, okay? And then how integrated is your hand when you stretch the band? And this is another thing there. So that's the next stage. How integrated is your hand? Another thing that I've noticed as we age, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, so let's focus on that. Um, so what we can do is we can add asymmetry to this, now add asymmetry. So now we can push off the left foot to bring the left band up, push off the right foot to bring the right hand up, feather forward, pushing. Now make sure your wrists are Integrate, yes, push off your feet, make sure your wrists are integrated. Now this isn't really the best practice to change it in the midst of the pressure, right? Yeah. But then we would just keep coming out of it and out of it and out of it and out of it. That could drive us crazy. Uh, let's see. 